Welcome back. The Supreme Court grants bail to former Tamil Nadu Minister Senthil Balaji in the money laundering case arising out of the cash for jobs allegations. Justice Abhay Oka, while pronouncing the verdict today, said that stringent bail provisions and delay in trial cannot go together. Senthil Balaji, a former Tamil Nadu minister and current MLA, is accused in a money laundering case stemming from allegations of his involvement in a cash for job scam during his tenure as the state's transport minister between 2011 and 2016. In June 2023, the Enforcement Directorate arrested him under the PMLA on charges linked to this scam. Balaji has challenged the denial of bail by the Madras High Court before the Supreme Court. He is in fact accused of orchestrating a scheme with his personal assistance and brother to collect money from job seekers in exchange for promises of employment in the Tamil Nadu Transport Department. Numerous complaints were filed by candidates who paid substantial amounts but did not secure the promised jobs. The Honorable Supreme Court was pleased to grant bail to uh, Mr. Sendil Balaji, who is incarcerated in prison as an under-trial prisoner in an ED case for more than 15 months. The Honorable Supreme Court has taken into consideration the long delay which has occurred in uh, trying him and which could be there in conducting the trials in the predicate offence and as well as the PMLA case. Considering this situation, the Honorable Supreme Court has uh, granted uh, bail to Mr. Sindhil Balaji, imposing certain conditions that he should appear before the Enforcement Directorate twice a week and he should cooperate with the trial, he should not tamper with the witnesses all, uh, and surrender his passport. These are all the conditions uh, imposed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. Uh, that's the case. My colleague Vergis Abraham joins me over the phone line on more on this. Uh, Vergis, Senthil Balaji has finally been granted bail in connection with a money laundering case arising out of the cash for jobs allegations. Go ahead and tell us what was it all about. Well, this uh, particular thing had uh, been some uh, time before the transport in that uh, there was an attempt to find them sure that money was uh, taken from aspirants who wanted a job in the transport industry of Tamil Nadu. So uh, this particular um, allegations are stemmed from 2014 in the cash for jobs. Uh, thing. What happened was that uh, the High Court had earlier dismissed Sindhil Balaji's bail plea in the case and had said that he had written a letter on bail in a case of this nature. It would send a wrong signal uh, because it has a larger public interest uh, therefore, the High Court had denied his bail, following which uh, he had approached the Supreme Court on this matter. Uh, he, it also went on to say that uh, the High Court had also said that the petitioner was in custody for more than eight months and it will be appropriate to direct the Special Court to dispose the case within a time frame. So, uh, since he did not get relief from uh, the uh, High Court on this matter, and since the case is still going on in the Special PMLA Court uh, in which uh, this case has been registered, uh, this uh, particular approach uh, has, in fact, uh, uh, been a big relief to Sindhil Balaji that he can, in fact, pursue the case in the lower court and ask for his dismissal uh, based on uh, the uh, arguments that he had over there. But since uh, he did not get that uh, verdict from the High Court uh, regarding the BLP, he had to approach the Supreme Court, and now the Supreme Court has given uh, this. Meanwhile, uh, the DMK has uh, solidly, uh, in fact, uh, been behind um, uh, Balaji and has uh, backed him in as well, uh, saying that this is a politically motivated case. Is, you know, how does this entire case affect Senthil Balaji politically? You know, Senthil Balaji has been quite prominent within the DMK rank as well, especially when it comes to areas around the coin door and therefore his influence in that area was considered to be a very important. And uh, therefore the DMK had said that it was a vested case uh, just ahead of the uh, October elections in which uh, Senthil Balaji was in fact uh, moved out of, uh, uh, in, you know, was in fact arrested. And uh, uh, this particular case, which was uh, charged on August 12th of last year, had, he had in fact still around 3,000 pages of charge, uh, charge sheet against uh, Balaji. And however, the DMK had in fact uh, said that it's politically mo uh, motivated. And uh, this particular, and also went on to say that this particular aspect of the case was when he was the transport minister in an earlier AIDMK uh, government. So uh, right now, uh, uh, the DMK has in fact, uh, he has been uh, with the DMK and he has been with the uh, 
uh, UK leadership and have changed parties, and this has led to um, his being a prominent figure, especially in the Kondutu region. And uh, as of now, the, uh, the uh, politically, he is in fact uh, going to, um, uh, in fact, uh, see uh, his such a rise within the DMC. He will be able to, in fact, get uh, the case in the special court quashed as well. All right. Thank you very much, Vergis, for joining us with all of those important insights.